Are you ready to take control of your household? Well, in this video, I'm going to be walking you through our home management binder system. Hi, I'm Winda from Windafull.com. I help creative planners like you find functional and productive ways to use your planners to help you get things done. So I'm using a Martha Stewart uh, ARC disc bound notebook, which I got from Staples. Um, you can definitely use a regular binder if you want. It's a lot cheaper than this, but I just like the way it looks and I, oh, I've always wanted to use the disc bound system. It's easy to put in and out and yeah, um, I just think it looks a lot more sleeker, it's thinner. So I use the home management binder to store all of our important family information. Um, it has, it has a lot of contact information. Um, it has all of our medical history, appointments, doctor appointments, dentist appointments, um, anything we may need, um, we can find it in here. It's a vital part of our family organization because it stores everything we need. So in my previous video, you saw that I keep track of finances and health and fitness in my file facts, but that was more for day to day. Um, I don't use it for long term. I usually take what I use in my daily planner and at the end of the month I would transfer it over to the home management binder to keep track of it in the long term. So my file effects planner, health and fitness and finance tracking is more um, on a daily basis whereas this is more long term. So this binder is really useful for our family because Whenever we need to remember the last time we changed our car oil or when was the last time we went to the dentist or if we need to find our son's soccer coach's number or the neighbor's number, then we can find everything we need in this binder. All right, so let me just show you everything that's inside of this home management binder. All right, guys, so the next um, part of my system is my home management binder. So you can find this um, in the link below. Um, I sell it in my shop alone and also part of the bundle. The bundle is obviously a better price because you get a whole lot more than just um, the home management binder. But if you want it, if you just want this, then you can also do that in my shop as well. Okay, so in my home management binder, um, this these are the sections that I want it to reference and keep track of. So we have family, contact, home, auto, medical, fitness, finance, travel, lists, blog, and personal. Um, and for these tabs, I just used this one inch post-it brand pastel tabs that I got from Amazon. I'll also link that down below. And for these stickers, I just used clear sticker paper and I've included the um, print and cut file for these tabs as well so you can print and cut your own or you could just use like a clear label um, maker to do that. If you want you can also just put it in a regular three ring binder like this. Um, I just labeled it home management and then you can put the cover page inside of the cover sleeve like that and you can just use dividers. Um, I got these from Staples as well, but with these dividers you wouldn't be able to have as many as you can if you were to just use the tabs. So whichever way is easier for you. Um, this is obviously a lot more affordable, but if you like the disk system then definitely go for that. Okay, so for the home management binder, um, I have family information, so this has um, our kids' height and weight tracker. You could print as many copies as you want for these sections. And then I also have uh, safety information, so like for everything. So we have alarm system, ambulance, fire department, hospital, poison control, electric company, gas company, oil company, water company. And then I didn't fill any of it out yet um, for this video. And then we have contacts. So we have emergency contacts, friends contacts, neighbors contacts, and school contact information. And then um, for school contact information, um, I did it for each child. 
because, you know, if they have different teachers and stuff. And it's very detailed. So, you know, there's contact information for almost everybody. Then we have after school contact information. So we have sports, um, art lesson, dance lessons, music lessons, and other. And then that's it for family. Um, there's a lot more that you can add or for family and contacts, but um, the system is meant to be, you know, exclusive to your family. So you can print what you want and leave out what you don't want. Okay, so for home and auto management, um, I actually separated this. So you'll see home management and then auto management. But for home, we have cleaning services. So any service for your home you can think of, um, I've tried to list them out here. So we have carpet cleaning, housekeeper, uh, curtain cleaning, dry cleaners, window cleaning service, lawn service, and such. And then we have a home projects tracker and home maintenance contacts. So if this is just way too detailed for you, you can definitely use this page, which is a lot more you know, simple. I'm sure not everybody has all of these services in their household. Then we have a home maintenance info, so things like your air conditioning, um, when it was serviced, the cost, and what was done. So we, for your carpenter, your chimney, um, electrician, um, exterminator, gutter cleaning, handyman, locksmith. So whenever you, you know, need that info, you can just come straight to this binder. And then we have info for your home appliances. So like your stove, your dishwasher, your air conditioning unit, your fridge, and all that. And then we have an outdoor equipment. And then we have home details. So this is like anything you buy to fix up your house for your project. So if you bought like a sink for the kitchen, where did you buy it from? Stuff like that. And then we have that for each room, bathroom, office, hallway, and such. And then we go to the cleaning section and we have a deep cleaning checklist that you can check off um, throughout the year for each month. And then I have a daily, weekly, and monthly rotating cleaning checklist. Then I also provided a blank one um, that you can use. And then I also have a cleaning checklist by room. So we have bathrooms, kitchen, office, living, dining, bedrooms, and kids' room. And then we have the cleaning schedule, which you saw in my planner. And then I have a KonMari checklist so that you can declutter um, certain categories in your house. And then after that is auto. So for your cars. So you have your car information, everything you would need for your car. And then I have a basic car care checklist that you should be doing um, periodically. And then we have this uh, checklist here for all the maintenance that you should be doing regularly. So you could just write the date on top of when you got it done there. Then I also pro uh, provided a different version where you can um, write down your own uh, type of repair or replacement part that you did and then write the cost and the place you got it done at. And then I have a when did I last. So this is just another way for you to keep track if uh, those other sheets were a bit too complicated, you can just use this and then kind of write what you need there. So you could be like, you know, when did I last change the car oil? And then you could just write the dates here. Or for home and family, you could be like, when did I last see a doctor? Or get, you know, check up on my, uh, you know, taxes. So anything like that. And then the next section is medical. So our medical info, we have doctor appointments, doctor visits. Um, I think I wrote in there already. So doctor appointments, doctor visits for each person. For, well, for each person we have doctor visits, but for doctor appointments, that's for everybody. 
so I included one for each person in our family for doctor visits. And then we have dentist appointments, dentist visits, and then we have my medical info, a symptoms tracker, again for each family member, and then a blood pressure log and a medication log if you need it. And then we have healthcare insurance and medical contact information. So I included, you know, um, different doctors, dermatologists, OBGYNs, optometrists, and such. And then we have dental contact, uh, prescription information, allergy information, and then we get to the health and fitness section. So this has your sleep tracker, um, year of moods, your year of healthy habits, a workout log, a before and after body measurement tracker. Um, I provide a lot of different options for these body measurements, um, and this is the one I like to use, which is the 12 week one. Then we have a training plan for your workouts. And then the next section is finance, and this includes, you know, the monthly budget. Um, a detailed budget tracker, online order tracker, expense tracker, um, categorized by section, um, a general expense tracker, the savings tracker, the debt tracker, debt snowball, and monthly bill trackers, and then a yearly bill tracker, and then another yearly bill tracker. And then the yearly financial summary and the annual income tracker. And there's different versions for that as well. And then, yeah, after that we have um, vacation, celebrations, and more. Um, I just put it as travel. So we have vacation tracker, vacation bucket list, uh, travel info, a travel budget places to go, um, new places to see, eat, stay, and shop. And then we have birthdays and anniversaries, holiday cards to send out, <clears throat> your favorite hotel, your favorite restaurants, and then a reusable packing checklist. So this is uh, two pages. So every time you go on a trip, you can just write um, the date on top and then just check off your checklist whenever you're packing. And then I also included this version um, if you just want a regular list, a regular checklist. And then we have passwords and a holiday shopping list and a gift ideas list for each person. Um, another gift ideas list and then a shopping list and wish list. And then um, I have a blog section. If you don't have a blog, you don't have to print this section out. But for me, I wanted to keep track of my analytics. We have a monthly stats tracker in there, an annual stats tracker, and then your published posts, uh, blog post ideas with different categories, and then a blog planner and then a blog workflow chart and a YouTube workflow chart. And these, I already filled in the steps to take when you're writing a blog post or recording a YouTube video. And then I also included guest posts, sponsors, and blog contacts and affiliate links. And then um, the passwords for the blog here. And then we have personal care. So here we have your grooming services, so your barber, your colorist, your hairdresser, your manicurist, and other personal care professional. We have books to read, movies to watch, TV shows, self-care ideas, and then in the back I just have sections from my workbook, um, the Wonderful Plans workbook, so um, I call it Focus because it just helps you to stay on track. So I have the focus, um, I have monthly checklist, weekly review checklist, how to optimize your productivity, um, what 
you know, what kind of questions to think of when you're doing your monthly review, um, how to set up your environment, limit your decisions, and if-then worksheet. Um, starting small, breaking it down, self-care ideas, a task tracker, a Pomodoro tracker. So these are all part of uh, the workbook, and it's just kind of ways to help you to stop procrastinating and be more productive and have a system for planning. So yeah, that is the my home management binder. And um, again, this is a lot to, to set up and fill out, but once you have it all um, set up, it's so nice to just have everything all in one place where, you know, whenever you need something for your family or, you know, for your home or car or your medical, any information you may need will be in here. And it's just nice having it all right here. All right, so that's that system. Um, I'm going to be sharing the next one in the next video.